Hey guys, what's going on? I'm Kylo and I'm here with Tony and John and today we are bringing you another Curse Podcast, an interesting topic. Tony? What are we investigating today? World's greatest, world's famous, paranormal detective back at it again and another... Yeah, I got to get him in too. We're at the agency and we're here discussing a new Kyle's episode oh. for you. What? We're discussing a new episode here for you today. We've got loads of notes, loads of research. We're going to do a live investigation at one point as well of this area. That's a bit of a spoiler. But, uh, Our first live investigation. Thanks for spoiling that right at the beginning of the episode, John. Oh, yeah! That was a troll. That was a fake out. <laughs> uh, uh, wait gotcha. till the end. You'll see if it is or not. It's actually a dead investigation because we may die going. All right. Uh, anyways, Tony, what do you got for us today? Uh, I mean, for all you know, when this comes out, we're dead already. So uh, I decided to select a topic that was close to home for us. And it's in our home state of Missouri, and it is called Zombie Road. Zombie Spooky. Road. Zombie Road. Zombie now, why is it called Zombie Road? Well, I'm, that's like, why we're here. Well, don't reveal it just yet, John. Jeez, we still got like 20 minutes so, of filler that we need. So, Zombie <laughs> Zombie Road is a. Uh, it's located a little bit about where it's located. So it's located about in, five hours away at, from our current location. Five, actually, St. Louis is not five hours away. I said about. St. Louis is like three and a half. It is not in St. Louis. Yeah, okay, so I, just, right I start it's talking immediately. Immediately starts arguing about it. Shut the fuck it's up. My here. Topic. Right. So it's located in St. Louis, Missouri. No, it's not. A it is not in St. Louis. Oh my god! It's located a little bit outside of St. Then Louis. Then say Missouri. that. Fuck. Uh, so it's about three and a half hours away. Send people on a wild goose chase to St. Uh, Louis. Where is Zombie Road? Not here, dumb fuck. So, Try again. So it's originally named Lawler Ford Road, and uh, that's what it's still named to this day. It's actually. <laughs> A hiking trail now and you're able to actually hike on the trail and go uh visit the the old railroad and then uh a uh, trail that goes by uh, the merrimack river so um <clears throat> it used to be a popular party destination in the 1950s for young teens well before before yeah you there's that, a little bit before that hang too. on a second man like we, we i'm trying to get to why it's location. called zombie Rail. i know but we There's still 20 minutes of filler know, we gotta get to. Damn, dude, like, fuck, you say that. What else we gotta talk about for 20 fucking minutes? Like, it's a, it's, you know, stretch right. road is one of the deadliest roads, one of the spookiest, hot mm. roads in America. The world. Well, I, so I found a thing on my website that said it's in the top 18 deadliest roads in the world. Jesus Christ. Yeah, so, yeah located outside uh, St. Louis. Um, so... Yeah, it was constructed in the uh, late 1860s. It originally built to gain access to the Merrimack River across mm -hmm. it. Um, before that, Native Americans um, had to quite a trek to actually go through there, through the river and stuff like that. So there is actually yeah. like a like a like a what like a, a boarding point uh, along this trail for the Native Americans, which uh, kind of ties into something later. Uh, but apparently, Native Americans used to use it to offload supplies. Because this was an Indian trail. Uh, Native American trail. Yeah, or Native American, sorry. It was a Native American trail, and they would offload supplies to, you know, like their tribes or whatever uh, from here, which uh, apparently a lot of Indians, sorry, Native Americans were ambushed uh, along this, like, pit stop, which is along this road, and they would be killed for their supplies, which, uh, you know, that's one of the sightings is that. Native American ghosts have haunted the place because of those ghosts. The sightings of Native American ghosts. From, so yeah. They're, so they're haunting this road for... Possibly like, hey, remember when we were, like, not really remember, but, you know, they were killed there offloading their supplies and then, you know, their ghosts haunted the place. The you know what I'm curious about? If, like, so. a lot of these accounts, you're not able to get close until they disappear. How the fuck are they able to tell that they're Native Americans? <laughs> the headdress. <laughs> well... So, yeah, and they had this road there, and um, there was a railroad built alongside it as well. And then soon after, about 100 years later, it would be referred to as Zombie Road. But, um, yeah, we're going to tell you why, pretty much. So, as you said, popular place in the 1950s. Yeah. Popping, all the cool kids yeah. are hanging out, parking the cars there, maybe outside. I'm going to get a handy from Betty Joe in yeah. my 50s Chevy, you it's, know what I'm or saying? Or maybe a handy from Joe Betty, you know? Or yeah. Joe Betty, yeah. yeah. That's not a yeah, real or, you know, around the time, you can just go there and, like, make out with the girl in the car. I literally just said what you said, but backwards. <laughs> no, but I think Joe Betty's actually like a real person. Is Betty Joe not real? Betty Joe is probably somebody, but I think Betty Joe is actually like an actual famous person. No, she's a nobody. Or yeah. Joe Betty. No. God damn it. 
Yeah, so the kids, kids would hang out here. Or park, Joe Hetty, yeah. They, they, park the, <laughs> they park the car, hang out, you know, a little make-out session. Mm. You know, maybe people are just hanging out on the road, doing their thing. Hey, I stole my dad's whiskey, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Hey, guys, here's some syringes. I got spoons. This is the 50s, not the 90s. God damn. Hey, Requiem for a Dream is not a thing yet, John. Shut the fuck out. Hey, you want to do some Elvis and some heroin? Like, or listen to Elvis do some, some heroin? Some rock and roll and heroin? <laughs> you kids ever ah. smoke crack cocaine out of a Rubik's Cube? Why? That's also... Why? <laughs> you guys want to play with a ball in a cup, but with a fucking... There you go. Some crack rock attached yeah. to it. <laughs> Whoever gets a crack rock in the cup gets a crack rock, you know? <laughs> and they all just kill each other for it. Which is why... <laughs> Kids haunt this area because they were killed on crack rocks. So, <laughs> one of the biggest things about Zombie Road, if you cannot tell already, it is a haunted area. There's just major hauntings, mm-hmm. ghost sightings all over the place. Speaking Mostly of it's just ghost shit. Yeah. Mostly. Mostly. Yeah, a lot of ghosts. That's that's honestly, it's it's a very haunted area. Um, yeah, it's just long stretch of road. Now it looks abandoned as all hell. But yeah, back in the fifties, well, it was popping. mostly other than the trail that the walking trail they have. Like they, because they have like a hiking trail for uh, mm-hmm. hikers. That's what I'm right now. <laughs> hiking trail for hikers. Because when we go, we're gonna be hikers. hikers. Yeah. <laughs> With our cameras on our fucking GoPros on and shit like that, and our blazers. Our EKG so reader. D D D. EMF reader. Thank you. I thought it was EKG. EKG machine is something that doctors do. What is that? It's like moving on. <laughs> <laughs> So, <laughs> EMP machine, you know. Sort of around the time in the 1950s, I do have an account of something that apparently happened in the area. Why, it was... why don't we start with uh, why it's called Zombie Road? The rumor, that rumor, that report. Okay. Okay. Do you want me to go? Oh, God, I gotta go. Okay, so, uh, apparently, in the 1950s, there was rumors that were being spread of disappearances of lovers that would go out to Zombie Road. To, Betty Joe, to, Joe Betty. Yeah, to... To fool around and get into some some pantsy Where's shenanigans. Betty, where Betty Jo go? Maybe, maybe her boyfriend fell in her pussy. Or oh yeah, let's go find them. Enormous. Ah! You know, because that's how they would react in the fifties. So like, uh, uh, apparently there was a zo- they quote unquote named him Zombie Killer, and he lived in a shack and he killed young lovers and. Uh, that's what you do. Wow, you that's just crazy. they knew where he lived and they just couldn't apprehend him. Right? They, Maybe they, like, they just like, it's a shack somewhere. We're like at eight o'clock in the morning. They're just knocking on the door. Hi, he's not home. We'll come back tomorrow. Yeah, maybe it's so shacky he was able to like pick up and move his shack. Like, was like, is he living a cardboard box or something? <laughs> I mean, what are the re- like the the requirements? Yeah, to for it to be considered a shack. Are like, you saying that a cardboard sh- or a box is not a shack? Or it is I a mean, that's what I'm saying. It could be technically. Why would they say he lived in a cardboard box then? Because it's a shack. It's the I 50s, think, you know? I know. The housing a, was a lot different I back know then. I know it's the 50s. You keep saying it's the 50s. but so maybe was, like, damn, that's a nice cardboard maybe, box. Shack. Or you say, like, that cardboard box. Like, that's that's a one-room, that's a one-bedroom apartment right there. You mean that cardboard box? No, man, it's the no, 50s. No, but, like, but like a mattress box could be a shack. <laughs> Okay, are you saying that this killer lived in a mattress box out in the woods and was killing young lovers? <laughs> That's why he's like, this is the shittiest mattress that, I'd ever is bought. Is that what you're saying? No one will ever fuck on a mattress again because I got fucked over on mine. <laughs> so, I, I kind of have a different story here. That uh, The story goes that there's a man named Zombie escaped from a local mental hospital Ooh. and disappeared alongside uh, set road, you know, leaving only blood slo- blood-soaked clothes there and it was nicknamed Zombie Road, you know, fall soon after because of the disappearances and apparently some deaths as well that were involved uh-huh. there. So that's that's what I got there. Carly, do you have anything on the or, original the origins of Zombie Road? No. Oh, Tony man, summed it up for me. Cardboard box, some homeless guy or some shit like that. Yeah, I basically had what Tony said. Uh, really? A car cardboard box? No, I had a shack. I don't see thank you. I said shack too. See? So you're making all that up. Why are you lying to our audience? <laughs> they come here for for real paranormal news, and they 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 want to know the facts. You know, we're supposed to, we're you're putting our reputation on the line here. I mean, they could look do at it me the same talking to you. They could do our it. reputation. They, on the they line could do here. it the same way we did it. They're putting our reputation on the line. They come here as us as a reputable source. You're putting shadows and you're, on me. <laughs> Lower the hands. Shadows of evil. <laughs> they disappear. Don't worry. When it gets real close, I don't video, like shadow hands. <laughs> With my shadow hand ease, buddy Joe. <laughs> so um, I ain't afraid of no ghost. 
I mean, how hard could it be to deep throw a translucent cock, you know? Wait, what? What <laughs> ghost sex? Why are we talking about ghost sex? <laughs> That's a real thing. People get people get sexually assaulted by ghosts all the time. Why are you laughing? <laughs> That's not funny. That's uh, that's a, that's terrible. That's a tragedy. An EMP machine, electromagnetic penis. <laughs> Real tragedy. <clears throat> I'm sorry, guys. You'll have to. We have we have 9/11. Then we have ghost rape. <laughs> National tragedies. <laughs> <laughs> and then Pearl Harbor after so, that. Are you telling me that we, all right, so we'll never be able to actually talk about one of those cases ever again? <laughs> Who is picking the ghost rape topic? <laughs> <laughs> what if I wanted to talk about ghost sexual assault? It's interesting. Damn. Ectoplasm, you know. <laughs> Come on, Kyle, this is not funny to you. <laughs> Have you been touched by a ghost? No, I touch ghosts. Oh! <laughs> all right, all right, before we end with any crimes here, we're He's like, that's all I can say without just incriminating myself. <laughs> the the, the, the RIPD are going to come after him. <laughs> the reverse Ghostbusters are going to come after him <laughs> with a suck machine. Oh, it's a leaf blower, actually, to blow out ghosts at him. <laughs> He's it's, just fingering them all? <laughs> You'll never defeat me. <laughs> Sex machine, Kyle. <laughs> yeah, I'm like Mac and Always Sunny. I'm just like picking up Dean, like chuck her across the room, chuck her across the room. He's, hey, I tried telling that the other day. He said, spoiler alert, so. Uh, so, um, so parties the hangout spot, you know, soon became a hot zone for the cool kids and mm -hmm. the teens there. And the, uh, some of the teens allegedly experienced bizarre and gruesome deaths. Um, along the trail, including getting struck by unseen trains, falling from cliff sides, even a tail of a high school student who was suffocated after huffing cooking spray. <laughs> <laughs> Man, is that some fucking oil over there? How are you feeling? A lot butter. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh. That's what they're huffing. But Why? Uh, apparently, yeah, there's no actual record of any asylum ever being located in your body. And the closest orphanage. Because Zombie Man burnt it down. It's a Catholic <laughs> home. Uh, that, funny enough, that actually burned down to the ground. And it oh, shit! And it was uh, located several miles away. And newspapers reported that no fatalities actually happened from the fire. So That's kind of odd. Who was there then? If it was a Catholic home. Um, there are actually rumors of the orphanage was being run, run by sadists. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, um, hikers have also rumored to stumble upon a cemetery with murdered children. Um, the local historians like definitely refute this and say that is not true at all. So there's like a lot of rumors and just a lot of say so, but like there's no actual like you can't find any like dialogue or any story or like any source of this these reports or anything like that, which is kind of fortunate because like I want to see like I want to hear what this person says and like what they saw and be able to make my distinction of like maybe that could be a ghost or maybe that's just something moving in the dark. Maybe like know? at the time it was such a small town like there actually was some shit going on but they were just like paying people to keep their mouth shut you know or just kind of like who would be move paying? the fuck on or you know, keep your mouth shut you know because be it's such a small town and back in the day like you know I'm sure they're easily able to just kind of like rough out hey, some kids. Hey heroin head have some have 50 bucks right here. Or just like rough house, get the fuck out of our town. Don't be spreading that haunted hoodoo around our parts. Oh, is that what Rambo First Blood's about? Yeah. <laughs> He's investigating Zombie Road, and all the cops show up. And they're like, yo, stop fucking this up for us, man. <laughs> I saw three. <laughs> the investigation's over. It's never over. <laughs> so. But after that, Zombie Road became like an immediate hotspot for hauntings and just brutal accidents. But. Then again, there were no actual confirmed reports of the person dying from the cooking spray or the <laughs> like actual cliffside accidents. But um, there was actually um, someone uh, that uh, who was hit by a train. The train accident. Yeah, yeah so it stems from, from a man who was hit by a train mm -hmm. in the 1970s and some uh, now haunted area. While it seems that there's no record of anyone dying on the railroad tracks around that time, some uh, think that man's ghost still is around. There's also a woman who was hit by a train in 1876. Oh, Soon after the train. road's construction, many people believe that 
she was actually the source of the haunting like from the very beginning because mm. that was like right after the like the roads construction and stuff like that. I'm just and like, how do you not high on the cooking spray? How do you dude? not hear <laughs> like barreling towards you? <laughs> what is that one? What episode? is that? <laughs> what is that one episode? Someone's like on South Park. Someone's like sitting in front of the train, and then they're just sitting on the tracks, and they, oh god, it's coming! It's like fucking train. They sit there for like forty seconds, like oh my god, it's coming, ah. and they just sit there and it just hits them. It's like the Austin Powers steamroller thing. Where he's like. Ah. It's like it's so taking far. forever. Ah, please no. <laughs> um, there's an, also some more obscure r- rumors of um, this existence of something called shadow people. Kylo, you touched up on this earlier. You remember? No, I don't. Just a minute ago, you <laughs> talked about shadow people and that they like um, sightings of shadow people, dark humanoid shapes that appear in trees and like actually on the trail. But um, they're actually disappear upon closer inspection. So if you walk towards them, it disappears. That's what you were talking well, about. Well, I only have a couple accounts for something like that, and it was uh, near an old shack. Okay. Son of a bitch. Fucking zombie shack. All right, so near an old shack and uh, ramshackle homes. Um, alongside the area at the end of the trail, people that would uh, hike the trail would often hear a woman just screaming at them, telling them to go away and just fuck off and shit like that. And then... Like, literally, you're inside my shack. Please get the fuck No, out. like, no, they'd be walking on the trail and they just hear it coming from the shack. And every time they, anyone go up towards the shack, there'd be nothing in there. That's crazy. What's in the shack? Uh, there was an old lady, apparently, screaming at people. Well, maybe... Th- could be the ghost of maybe that's the very the original haunting of the girl who's hit by the train. train yeah, Della know. Hamilton McCullough. Mm-hmm, that's her name. Wasn't she like related to a judge or something like that? This is a it was story. believed that the husband was hit by the train originally, but there was never any accounts like you How said. How the fuck do you mess that up? It's like who was hit by the train? Was it Betty Jo or, or Joe Betty? Like, I mean, when I they're know. completely, if imagine getting hit by a train, you're probably obliterated. How do you not know though? When there's someone's missing from your fucking town, either the husband is in the town or the husband's not in the town. Well, because maybe it's around you the time when deduction. people just dip, you know, like, hey, I'm gonna go get some milk from the corner store, watch our son, and you know, and then like, <laughs> you never come home with the milk. <laughs> if the milk isn't pretty important, they'll put it a little bit closer to goddamn town. <laughs> maybe back then you had to go straight to the cow, you know. <laughs> Why the fuck would someone's cow be that far away? We have to go through a place called Zombie Goddamn Road. <laughs> Just follow the tracks, you'll be right there to the cows. <laughs> if you take that shortcut over there called Zombie Road, I really shouldn't. No, I don't even know what a zombie is. <laughs> yeah. Um, don't worry about it. It isn't just even like paranormal occult believers that agree that there's something spooky or creepy about zombie road even skeptics describe the road as being claustrophobic and says it seems to never be the same length twice so there's like admiralities about it like some sort of labyrinth they feel like when they walk through this like this trail or road yeah um, was it like uh what was that is it insidious where the hallway just like never ends and keeps running no it was pt there's something I was talking about a movie. I know, that was a joke. Oh, okay. Okay. Um, not only there are some reports of indigenous spirits that have been sighted on the stretch of the road. Um, that's what we think from like way before even the road was actually built, before the railroad tracks were there. That, uh, when it was an Indian uh, or Native, Native Americans, American you know? trail. Yeah, God damn it. Yeah, we're uh, being used that by that quite a bit. And uh, yeah, now it's actually, it's just a trail. It's closed after the dark, but mm-hmm. it doesn't stop a lot of thrill seekers. Movie. Three thrill seekers. Yeah, well, I kind of also read that they hand out fines for trespassing. And I'm like, mm, how much? I don't. John's like, I'll pay. I'm well, thinking about. I'm it. sure if we get hit with a warning first and we leave, we're good. But I think if we came back after a warning, we'd what probably be told to go. knock him the fuck out or something. It'd be fine. <laughs> Shoot him in the head. Burn the car. Wow. That's not something that we do as criminal investigators. No, we just charge out and make train noises. Yeah. <laughs> choo, choo. Oh, he's not going to fucking move, Kyler, judging from, like, like if history tells us anything, he's going to run into it. If we bite the cop's throat out, they'll think it's something that has Stop. to do with paranormal and stuff. Stop admitting that we're going to commit a fucking crime. We're not going to hurt a police officer or anyone for that matter. What are you? Why, why do you think we're going to be doing that? We're going to be looking for ghosts. For the sake of the investigation... What are we investigating? Our fucking life sentence coming up right afterwards? 
Foundry gonna die in jail. Real or fake? It's okay. Yeah. I'll do everything. So I'll just take the fall and do everything. Okay. I still. That's a lot of. The, 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 okay. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I, I can't. Yeah. Well, if you're I need that, to make sure the episode goes up. Well, I will have. Someone will have. Someone's gotta edit this motherfucker or something. I think it'll be me if you're biting out throats. <laughs> Police officer, did you haunt my road? Did you haunt my did road? Did you haunt my road? Did you haunt my, my fucking my road, road, officer? Did, did you shoot, haunt it? Did sh- you? Shoots me in the fucking head. Bam! <laughs> haunt that, bitch. You got this on camera. Bam! <laughs> did you get this on camera? Like, no, I, swear, I swear, other officers, it was the ghost train that killed them. <laughs> <laughs> Your car is just like dented to shit. Was it Casper the friendly ghost fucking train? That was our friend this? Aaron that dented that car. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> it wasn't the cop's body. Um. So that's that's all I have on this uh, on this creepy ass spooky road. But um, yeah, maybe it sounds like that you, we should go there in person though. Um, I have some stuff. There's more stuff, you guys. Please don't have anything. Okay, so uh. I think I already said at the beginning that there's a website called uh, worldsmostdangerousroads.com or something. It's not <laughs> very... How many road facts do you have here? <laughs> but uh, did I say it to me that it's one of the world's top 18 haunted roads? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is it 18 on that list? It, it was 18. I'm like, what an odd number. Is it because that zombie road is number 18? Like, <laughs> But it wasn't. It was like number 16. So top 16 haunted roads. Then. <laughs> uh Apparently, there's also Confederate rebel ghosts there because during the Civil War, uh, it was a so, like so they would bring supplies down to the river, and they had like a line there, uh, you know, to stop stuff and offload supplies on the Merrimack, and so it was like kind of like a, the Confederates set up a base there. Well, apparently there was a battle called the Battle of Merrimack that took place there, and the Confederates were actually drawn from their camp because they lost the battle. They're, they they face so many casualties and so apparently confederate ghosts i know confederate ghosts are also there with the native american ghost i don't think that is factually possible that reminds me of the whole office thing where he's like the battle of fruit farms well like, we were I but yeah that's but not a thing but the battle of merrimack look it up it was a thing it was a missouri wasn't a free or a slave state yeah it was confederate no it wasn't yeah it was no yes sir, we were no it wasn't look it up yeah we were look it up right now on your phone it was not a slave state yeah we were it was not a free state it so was a, um i thought we were like torn in two because missouri was really fucking big yeah. like back in the day yeah well then no wonder there was a battle of merrimack there <laughs> the fighting didn't take place there that's what i'm saying it was because oh, it's not neutral but it's um a slave state no their version of a DMZ. Yep. Compromise them as a slave state and Maine as a free state. Well, that was 1820. That's after the Civil War, during the Civil War. That's 40 years before the Civil War right there. Yeah, so it was a slave state, though. 40 years? Be- You're talking about during the Civil War. <laughs> so it was still a slave state until the Civil War ended. Oh, my God. See ya. That are compromised by permitted canvas maps. Try to rebuild them against showing the units free or place stations in the back of the thing. Looks like you're just from a certain club. So it's plausible. I mean, like, there were people there, but it was it was an in between state, that and Kansas. But there could be Confederates there. I so like how you're gonna bring up, you're like, oh, it was, it was a slave state in 18. It just said it was. Technically, every state was a fucking slave state if you go back far enough. Well, not, well, yeah, but it's not all states state a slave state. Exactly. I'm talking about... But Missouri the, did. But um, there, at that point, you're talking about Civil War, right? Yeah, there's a battle. Civil War. Yeah, 1820. Do you know when the Civil War took place? It's 19, 1865. That's when it ended? Yeah, 1865. Okay, so then that's... Yeah, it could have been a slave state for 40 years. Never mind. So anyways, like I was saying, there uh, is apparently Confederate rebel ghosts there... And uh, 
So I guess during the uh, the when the fuck you. It seems far fetched. Yeah, when, when you say that. We're talking about fucking ghosts. What do you mean far fetched? <clears throat> I mean, the ghosts, we don't know about. But the Civil War, yeah, man, that shit's documented pretty fucking well. I mean, maybe it was a race from history. The ghosts might be more real than that fucking battle you're talking about, as far as I fucking Maybe know. they learned about the battle from the ghosts, so it's not documented in actual history. Because, like, we're not writing down some shit some ghosts said. They're like, dead. So it's just because we're investigating something <laughs> that people make dispute doesn't mean we can just start uttering out bullshit. I didn't utter out bullshit. I mean, like, you could look it up. Like, Civil War, like... We can't even find it on the fucking first page of Google. We just did, like, a good amount of research right there and found zero fucking web pages I'll find out it there. later for you. And you'll have to apologize. This dude's gonna go and make a website, I swear to God. <laughs> just wait till I get paid for it. He's gonna make a fucking... You're like, this is an open domain. It literally has your name at the bottom as the main editor. <laughs> That's oh a different God. Anthony. <laughs> Colonel uh, Betty Joe started the battle. It's like, this sounds familiar. <laughs> Every person that died was named John. <laughs> Only one survivor, zombie. <laughs> but everyone on the northern side that lives name was Anthony and Tony. <laughs> so, that's... I, it just was... I mean, like, it was just kind of like... Sorry to dive into what you were saying there about the Civil War thing, but I just, sorry, I just... I did not know that there were any battles that took place that far in. And to my surprise... Um, the research, I, I don't know if it's, if you can exactly trust it. I don't think we can trust any of our research. I mean, well, obviously, I mean, like, we're not going eyewitnesses or anything like that, but the research on the Civil War should be pretty solid, but yeah, I don't, I don't know about Zombie Road, but, um, because we don't have, like, there's no, there's, there's some photographs of it and stuff like that, but it's just, like, kind of photographs, like, in the dark, like, one you can see is actually a famous one of one of the spirit people or the shadow people right that is actually if someone captured an image of the shadow people like to move for a sec tony it's just black behind me exactly there's nothing behind me yeah exactly. you can see it and that's the, the famous, hand right there and that's the famous photo of a shadow person so there's i couldn't find any story of like this person Here's a story or a report of this person talking to a journalist, and here's their story of what they witnessed or saw, you know? I couldn't find any, like, first-hand reports or any evidence of any first-hands or any, like, stories of first-hand well, reports. Well, like I said, maybe like they're that. all, like, get the fuck out of here. Yeah, but Don't about, spread that about, shit in our town. But what about, like, in the past, like, 10, 20, 30 years, though? When things are become a little bit more, like, acceptable. I like, mean, because maybe now it's just stuff. easier to blow it over as a but, but, theory but, rather than... But you when know. the internet's like like is very dominant now in the past like twenty years, and people like to talk about that, people go to forums and stuff like that. Especially become it's become so famous now, and that people have gone there so many times. You know, people talk about it, and people share these things on the internet with each other. So you think there'd be something if someone experienced something, they're gonna tell their experience. You know, but I just could not find a lot of that, which is very weird because I'm assuming people go there and it's still like. Even if the place is not haunted or not. I mean, you can't even go at night, so maybe that's why. Yeah, know? but I mean, like, there's a lot of websites that said that, that like, kind of almost warn you as if, like, hey, like, you will get fined, don't go out at night, mm -hmm. even though some people still do it. But it's weird, though, because, like, if you go, if you are in the dark, say, in the, like, in the basement here, like, you still feel something spooky, although it's not completely haunted, you know? Like, there's not even stories of people, like, going through Zombie Road or anything. So are like maybe those people are being paid off by the town as well to shut the fuck up because there's just like not as much on there as you think would be because if it's such a dangerous place and it's such a haunted place, I was expecting there to be more. Unless they're paying the internet. <laughs> they I, I don't know about that, but like it's not that I, it could be that deep. We could be just like slipping it under the rug, which is exactly what the goddamn feds want us to do, you know? But I don't know about that one. Um, are we are we wrapped on that one, boys? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Kylo, um, well actually, I think we should we're save. Not doing I think we should too. I think we're gonna save. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, we should. Yeah. Should what? <laughs> save it for <laughs> no, next time. Just agree. Oh. <laughs> I already remember what you told me, but I'll just just yeah. keep going with the bit. Um, yeah, we should. Yeah. Don't I, say I, it. Just save it. <laughs> I think. 
we're going to uh, put a, uh, you know, we're, we're going to hold on to this because at the end of each episode of the first podcast, ladies and gentlemen, we, uh, we decide whether something's real or fake and in our opinions, if it's, uh, if the evidence holds up or whatnot, but, uh, this is a first part because there's going to be a part two that you guys are going to hold on to. And we're going to, uh, make our best attempt and not put ourselves in fucking debt with, uh, fees and, uh, whatnot. Uh, to actually investigate this place firsthand um, because it's only a couple hours away and we're gonna actually gonna try there we're gonna try to head up there and we're gonna check it out for ourselves have a video on it and then we'll be able to tell you our thoughts on it but what we want to know why don't you guys check out your research let us know if you guys can find the evidence of the Civil War there because that's what we're really interested about there find some evidence of that and please let us know down below in the comments all right battle on your Mac real or fake <laughs> I'm gonna say fake. <laughs> yeah. Tony, <laughs> what do you think? Uh-huh. You don't know? <laughs> okay, ugly blazers, real or fake? Waiting in a lobby for an hour, real or fake? Wow. Very you guys, real. You guys are referencing stuff that's not even a part of this. I thing. know. What the hell does blazers have anything to do with this? Oh, okay. I've never worn a blazer in my life. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, that's going to be it for the end of this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed it, please make sure to smack the like button. Subscribe for some more spooky and paranormal stuff in the near future. We'll see you guys later on the next episode. Bye.